Writing a baseline involves incorporating all the knowledge that we've talked about before. We want to use everything we have available to us, all the notes that we know, all the rhythms that we know, good time feel, everything that is just part of being a good musician. So when you're in a situation, when you're going to be playing music, whether it's with your friends, in a professional situation, or just making music on your own, you want to give yourself certain options that you can always depend on to be there for making bass lines. If you're playing on a song that has two chords, maybe the song alternates between D and G, you could start by just practicing playing the root notes of those two chords in time. Maybe we'll start with quarter notes. You could play. And maybe that's appropriate for the situation. Maybe you can add a couple other notes as you hear them. Keep it simple. Maybe then, it might even just be appropriate to just play a rhythm. You can still play the root notes, but maybe you don't have to play all the, all the beats. Or maybe it's appropriate to play something more like melodic, longer tones. something shorter. Sometimes less is more. So basically you can provide a whole set of options for yourself, maybe three or four things you really like to do. And if you have those in your back pocket, you can try them. And if none of them work, maybe one of them will lead you to hearing something brand new that you've never done before. Maybe that will become one of your basics. But the principle is get some things under your belt that you really know how to do so that when you're in a situation where someone requires you to be a bass player, and play a bass line, you want to be supportive, you want it to be strong, and you want to feel really secure with what you're doing.